Good morning, y'all. Lisa here, Family Foods, and uh, this is the end of day 10. Good morning. I, uh, no, I said, uh, did I say good morning? Yeah, you said good morning. Oh, that's because people are going to see this tomorrow morning. Um, it's going to be the first clip of day 11, but it's the end of day 10, and I just wanted to share with you Jen's lunch. Um, so she's having some leftover Brunswick stew from the night before and topped it with a little bit of those homemade baked beans since it was um, basically the same sauce. So she took a little bit of the baked beans to mix in with that. We've got some um, honeydew. This is what's left of the, uh, the first honeydew. So she's got honeydew. And then this is some of that congee. I made some more of it because it was so delicious. And she's got it um, layered with bananas in there. So she's got bananas and melon. And then some um, congee and Brunswick stew. And then here's the iced coffee. This is two days worth. I'm just gonna take that tomorrow. And uh, behind me here, I made the Low Country Boil. And uh, you know me, we're not throwing away anything, right? This is just pure flavor. Last time I made a Low Country Boil, I used this liquid to cook some red beans and made red beans and rice. And it was so good. Basically, it's like a little seafood stock. It's shrimp and corn and the sausage and the potatoes. And it just made this, in the Old Bay, just made a really flavorful broth. So um, I'll use that to cook up some beans most likely. But anyways, this is Jen's lunch. We're headed off to um, go watch a movie on the green. We have music on the green on Friday. And then they do movie night on Wednesday with kids movies. So we're going to take the kids and do that. And have a nice evening out, and uh, I will uh, I will catch you guys when we have breakfast. Hey, good morning. What's going on? Lisa here, Family Foods, and uh, I am cooking up some breakfast. We actually, it's probably more like lunch. What time is it? It's 11.30. Uh, I had a meeting to go to uh, early this morning. How to get the, the kids to um, wake up early, and we left for that, and I promised them if they were really good, I would let them get donuts. They never get to have something like that for breakfast, and they've been begging me all summer, can we please have donuts? And so I thought this was a good opportunity if they sat through while I was having a meeting, they could get some afterwards. So, um, yeah, uh, so I had some coffee this morning, and now I'm, I'm having some breakfast. And I'm making, um, I'm making a little scramble here. I've got um, some onions frying up with some mushrooms and a little broccoli. And then um, I'm gonna add some cauliflower rice and top it with some tomato and hummus and put an egg in it this time. So I'll show you what that looks like. All right, so here's the finished product. It's a little bit of an egg fried veggie stir fry with a little tomato. And I love the, um, the hummus. It just gives it like a nice little creaminess to it. Um, sometimes I use avocado, but hummus is great. I sometimes will even um, thin it down with a little bit of water and it makes a really good little sauce. So just a little tip if you're trying to use up some hummus or got a bunch of hummus laying around. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna enjoy this outside and um, I'll catch you guys um, next week. Really digging this uh, kanji. I was experimenting with it. Um in the instant pot using brown rice instead of regular rice and uh, God it just makes so much I had to cook it for an hour and a half but I put mushrooms and some zucchini in there um, I love you guys uh, sharing every everything that uh, you've been making or some ideas and whatnot and someone has suggested um, some zucchini how it gets nice and soft um, really really good so I put that in there and just a little salt and a little butter and uh, I was thinking like it might be good with like an egg on top of this, but I'm not gonna do that right now. But anyways, um, I made some more of this and I'm not sure what I feel like for lunch. I kind of feel like something more sweet since I had something savory earlier, but I just wanna share I made this and uh, I don't know, I'm gonna have this at some point. A couple things prepped for dinner here tonight. I thought we'd do uh, taco night. So I'm making a little uh, guacamole. I had one little small tomato left. Usually I do diced tomatoes separate, but since I only had one little tomato left, I thought ah, I'm gonna put it in with the uh, the avocado because that's always really good. So I'll have a little guac and um, I quick soak some um, pinto beans that uh, I just put in boiling hot water and uh, did it for like two hours so I can cut the cooking time down. So I got some pinto beans uh, soaking in there. And then, uh, yeah, just probably a few things. Here's some corn. 
um, potato from last night that was left and this corn was so bland it was the worst corn I've ever had I mean it really had no flavor at all sadly last time I bought corn on the cob it was so sweet but this one really no flavor so I'm gonna cut it off the cob and add it to the beans and rice and season it up and um, hopefully make some good use out of that uh, shred up some lettuce and um, yeah um, I'll show you what it all looks like when when we when we sit down to all eat. Alright guys, we are putting dinner together. Yeah. We're doing some burritos. I've got a big old instant pot full of um, rice and pinto beans and Hold corn. It. You need over. Um, it looks kind of foggy in the camera here. Um, yeah, big old pot of that. Mm -hmm. I just mix all of it together with a little cumin and coriander and salt and a little chili powder. And um, foggy, yeah, babies. Jen's uh, rolling up the girls in a little Wait, burrito. Wait, if it's foggy, you wipe that thing off. Oh, yeah, okay, yeah, she's got it's it. Good now. I think it was hold the that steam. so they can uh -huh. see how you hold it. Ow. So if you just oh, fold one end, Avery it kind of holds everything together. So we've got a little cheese, we got a little shredded lettuce, we got um, you do that? guacamole made with some of the tomatoes and onion, homemade sprouts. I made a uh, I had a little bit of mayonnaise left in here, and I mixed sriracha, so I got a little sriracha mayonnaise for Jen and I. Hello. And how is it, girls? Good. Is I, it good? I haven't took a bite, but it's good. All right, try a bite, Mackenzie. I'm going to cover you up so I don't get stinky. I'll let her Too get that well. organized. I got mine here on the uh, homemade uh, corn tortillas. Uh, they came out perfect, nice and pliable. And uh, you can watch that video. It's the last video I just posted on how to make it. Two ingredients, super delicious, gluten free, very frugal. Oh, 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 oh. And um, uh -huh. yeah, Jen's rolling and, that up. And I helped make the um, tortilla. You did, babe. They'll see that. Did you try it, Mackenzie? No. Yeah. It's really good. Much better than the other one with the hair in it. No. The hair. <laughs> last time we talked, <laughs> Mackenzie found a hair in it. And, like, she was so freaked out by the whole thing. So, Jen's rolling up that one. Is that yours, babe? That's right. All right. So, anyways, taco night tonight. Got a little cheese. And, um, yeah, Ooh. good to go. So, thanks so much for watching. Remember, always eat happy food. Remember, always make food with love. We can make so much stuff with cheese because we have so much cheese. I know. Well, we, we froze a lot of cheese from the party, and then these bag of cheese we got for a dollar each, and we just opened up this one. But the expiration date is not until this your birthday, babe. This doesn't expire until your birthday. Wait, what? That's how long it will keep. Wait, that's December pretty scary. That's, like that's right. So that's what? why I got it. Anyways, thanks so much for watching. I'm always eat happy foods, make food with love, oh and we will catch you on the next video tomorrow, day 12. December 7th. All right. Nice. Ciao, my friend. Right, guys, I'm taking a bite. I just had one bite. <laughs> Mackenzie's recording me. Mm. Homemade mm. <laughs> sprouts, like corn tortilla, is awesome. It's so good. Two ingredients. <laughs> Go watch the video. Super easy to make. You don't need anything special or fancy. You can make it. You can freeze it. Well, this is great. Awesome dinner. Thanks, Mackenzie. Say bye to Tortilla. <laughs> no, that's you. Bye. 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 Like, comment, share, and subscribe. And click the bell. Yep, yep. So you never miss a video. Bye-bye.